check, check, sound check. <gasps> Hello, I am here. <laughs> we are here to talk about movies and DVDs. Do people even have DVD players anymore? People, well, no. I mean, if you're a movie watcher, you either still have it, you don't use it, or you gave it away at some point or whatever. Well, we have a huge DVD collection and we are huge movie buffs, movie nerds. We're huge Marvel and DC fans. We love sci-fi. We love action, action suspense, thriller. fantasy, yeah. Harry Potter, yeah. all of that. Yeah. So we thought it would be fun to go through this enormous movie collection. We have a lot of the movies that we own in this big bin and we're going to compete to make a top five list of the movies that we pull out. And we're just gonna reminisce and remember, remember the time. Okay, so reach down, don't look, pick out a movie. Just go to the bottom of the pile. The Guardian with Kevin Costner and Ashton Kutcher. Did you watch it? I've never seen that movie. I think I watched this movie one good time, I think I saw and, one and time. I think it was it was pretty good. But yeah, I'm not. I don't need this. Yeah, I'm not, I don't. Yeah. Need okay. Streetball classics volume. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Yo, like basketball DVDs used to be everything. Michael Jordan, Come Fly with Me. This was one of those. Um, These were actually the everything. Sebastian Telfair one. You remember all those? Like, wow. That's crazy. Vertical Limit. Listen, if you've seen this movie, crazy. this is like, you know, adventure, avalanche, Natural craziness, disaster. helicopter, all, all kinds of crazy that stuff. That movie is crazy. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if it's it, not top five. But I feel like I've seen that on Netflix or Amazon mm -hmm. or something. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This you is... better believe it. I'm keeping this just as a wild card <laughs> because any Harry Potter anything movie Harry can be Potter. in my top five. Anything Harry Potter. The Chamber be of Secrets is really a crazy one too, and I feel the second like, one. Yeah, it was like creepy and uh, wait, the Chamber of Secrets was the one with Tom Riddle. Yeah, and yeah. And, 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 and the, the Basilisk. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, yeah, I'm keeping that one. Yeah, absolutely. Crazy. Crazy. Trouble Man. This is, a, <laughs> this is an oldies classic right here. One of the best soundtracks, Marvin Gaye, Trouble Man. One of the best soundtracks ever. Oldie movie. This is actually still in the wrap, which is which is crazy, which means, and we <laughs> opened it and watched it. Toy Story 3. Oh Lord. Toy Story is another franchise that will always take the cake. Buzz Lightyear, Woody, Jesse. That one w got really deep. That one got really deep I with with, cried. with the bear, Bo what was his name? Bozo or or Lotso. Lotso, Lotso is crazy self. That purple and bear. those crazy toys. Speak of the devil. I definitely cried at the end of this movie when they were all about no, to die. No, because they were all about and to Woody die. And Woody had his arms like this with all of them going into Anyone the Anyone who saw that, we all, like, uh, that was literally just... Just looking at this DVD is about to make you cry. Um, I'm keeping this as well. Toy Story is a gem. The Bourne Ultimatum. Jason Ooh. Bourne. A great franchise, but I don't know if it would, I don't know if it would fit in my top 10, but I'm gonna, or top five, I should say. I might hold on to it, but yeah, I'll hold on to it. <laughs> Matrix Revolution. Wow, another franchise. This one was weird though, right? It was the third one. Yeah. The Matrix is everything though. I mean, we Please love the Matrix. Matrix. I feel like the first and the second one are really my favorites. Reloaded is the second one. Reloaded is the, is one, the one with where... Agent Smith when he turned it the big fight. No, scene. that's the that's Reloaded. Yeah, see, Reloaded is everything. Yeah. 
The Lord of the Rings, uh, Return of the King. I, this is the third one, I believe, right? Of the first installment before they did The Hobbit. Yeah, it's just like the fantasy of it all. I have a lot of respect for yeah. Lord of the Rings, so I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gandalf a contender. is everything. Gandalf it's... the Grey and Gandalf the White. That's right. That's a contender. Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. Wow. Some of those old classics are 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 hitters. Like. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't put it in my top five. But mm. Definitely, it's one of those throwback classics. Yeah. The Bodyguard. R.I.P. What? Whitney. I mean, there's nothing really to say. That's gonna be in, I know that's in your top five. <laughs> that's in somebody's top five. It's in I everybody's mean, when You have the greatest voice of all time. The Bodyguard is everything. A lot of these DVDs don't have the DVD in them. No, this one don't. does. In this household, we respect Whitney. Period. Oh, God. Great movie. Click. Lord. With Adam Sandler. Yo, Adam Sandler to me has a few pointless movies, but this is not one of them. This is not one of them. Yo, yeah. Click low key almost made me cry. Click the did part make with me his cry. dad when he, he like, kept Click rewinding made everyone it. Cry. Yo, that thing caught me so bad when he kept running it back. Like, yeah, I didn't even understand why this was such an emotional moment. Adam for Sandler movie. makes like unexpectedly emotional movies. This is good. This is a good movie. It's not top five. Mm. Uptown Saturday Night. Oh boy. <laughs> I feel like some of these Ow. are like dad slipping. Yeah, yeah. Something. This is this is the movement <laughs> resurfacing. Yeah. Sidney Poitier, Harry Belafonte, Bill <laughs> yeah. Cosby. Mm. Yeah, we didn't watch them. Electra. Listen right now. If you know anything about the hand. And Daredevil and Electra, all Electra of that. Electra was the Jennifer Garner everything. movie was actually everything. This came out after the Daredevil. This movie, came out right? after it the Ben after Affleck like Daredevil movie. This was definitely better than that. Um, I feel like no, this was everything. <laughs> I'm going to put this as a runner-up contender, mm, possibly, because yeah. we used to also watch this a yeah. lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and like, I Listen. don't even like a lot of Jennifer Garner movies, which is why I feel like it wasn't... A yeah, Peppermint movie. They don't have that on Peppermint. TV, but Peppermint is the real it's deal. Great. If, if it only takes one movie to make you believe in an actor, that was the one for me with Jennifer oh, yeah. Garner. <sighs> Spider-Man with Tobey Maguire, the first one. We have a new mm. Spider-Man now. This isn't going to be top five. Um, Tobey Maguire was a good Spider-Man. It was, do you like him better than, um, Andrew Garfield? Yeah, I liked him better than Andrew Garfield because Andrew Garfield is the, your boy from the social network. He's Eduardo yeah. Saverin. He, you know, I can't, he can't be Spider-Man. He's Eduardo. You did it. I knew you did it. You planted that story about the chicken. I mean, I don't think they were bad. Um, I don't think he was bad. It's just that he was Eduardo. Shark Tale. Oh, this I is an underrated this. movie. This is underrated for sure. Even though it's Will Smith, Angelina Jolie, Robert De Niro. I mean, it's a great cast, but I didn't watch this for a really long time. When I finally did, I was like, what have I been missing my whole life? Yeah, this is in top five. Mm. This is really funny. Yeah, it'll be. Inception. Ooh. Inception was a game changer Such of a movie, a movie and that in itself might make it a top five yeah. for me. Uh, and to clear up, this isn't like our top five overall movies, obviously. No, just the just top these, five of yeah. these movies we have here, this might go in there just because yeah. it, it was a huge game changer of a movie. Just a lot like, of people didn't get that movie. Like to this day, people will say they just never understood it. I understood that movie the first time that I saw it. It just, it worked for me. Yeah. So I love that movie. And also Leonardo DiCaprio can basically do no wrong. I can't name a role that I've seen him in true. that I didn't he's just, love. Yeah, he's, he's too good. Yeah. Fantastic Four. Come on, on! We agree that we like this one better than the remake. Yeah. We love Marvel movies. This was under Marvel. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep this as a floater.
the hangover this is actually on oh. this is a blu-ray disc um <laughs> remember blu-ray blu-ray i can't since it's not a dvd i'm just gonna set it aside it's still mm. a <laughs> hangover great movie though <gasps> catch me oh, if you Lord. can that's a no-brainer leonardo Brainer. dicaprio i mean <laughs> i that's literally a just said it frank william abagnale <laughs> jr are you kidding this me? This movie is everything. <laughs> Tom Hanks, so good in that. So good. So good. Uh oh, Tomb Raider. Mm. The original Tomb Raider. Angelina Jolie. Angelina was busting down in that movie. No, she was getting to she it. She was like, in the ceiling, she was getting flipping to it. from the cloth yeah, thing. That scene in the house when they came for her. No, she she put in work in this movie. She was great. That's a classic. a classic. I would leave that out. And her dad is Mickey Donovan. Absolutely is. And her father in real life. Yeah, it wouldn't be in mine, but I'll keep it up here on your side. Ha! <laughs> Bringing wow. down the house. Wow. Bringing Yo, down the that's house. That's a funny movie. Is that's a funny movie. <laughs> I don't think top five, but we used to watch this a lot too. Yeah. Yeah. Shrek 2. Oh, we love Shrek. We love Shrek. Hit it! Eddie Murphy, um, Antonio, Antonio Banderas. <laughs> Today, I repay my debt. He got a whole spinoff from Shrek. <laughs> Puss in Boots, Puss in Boots. Are you crazy? <laughs> Shrek is everything. Shrek is such a classic. Shrek is everything. I don't know if it's if it's gonna fall in top five. I feel like a lot of my top fives are still in the in the bin, honestly. Due date. Oh Robert Downey God. Jr., Zach Galifianakis. That's a funny movie. I remember J.B. Fox in this one too? He was uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s best friend. Isn't he like with the woman that Robert Downey Jr. Yes. used to be with or yeah, something? Yeah, it's like, something like that. Yeah. You and his wife exchange emails. Yeah. What else do you exchange? Not top five. Oh, this is top five. Slumdog Millionaire. Absolutely, 100%. That is top five. That's This is one of the craziest movies I've ever seen. That movie made me look at who wants to be a millionaire in a whole different type of way. Am I nervous? It's you who's in the hot seat. That is certified top five dead or alive right there. What was his name? What was my boy's name? Jamal. Jamal. And Jamal. Salim. Salim. <laughs> Jamal! <gasps> Finding Nemo. Top Done. Five. Period. Over. Top five. Are you kidding me? Stop it. Finding Nemo is everything. <laughs> Dory. Oh my god, the sea turtles. Dude. Oh. oh, he lives, hey, dude! All of it. 2001? Wow. Oh my god. 20 years ago. Oh my god. <sighs> yes. Boy. Scary Movie 4. The, we are scary movie people, not scary movies, but no. like the scary movie franchise. Two and three were like our big ones. I don't think we ever got into four like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, this wasn't this wasn't one of our two and three. Scary movie two and three. Forget about it. And if you know, you know. When you're, you girls singing in the car. <laughs> As we go on. We had together. <laughs> or no, was it the third one when they played off the ring? Yeah, that was the that third one. That was the third yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I was just talking about the scene when the girl was crawling out of the TV. Holy Culkin, top five, Jeez. top whatever. Again, there's just really not much more to say. Like, yeah. I made my family disappear. Home Alone is everything. Yeah. Yeah. Mission Impossible 3. 
Love Mission Impossible. This is the one with um, Philip Seymour Hoffman, RIP. Oh, yeah. You know, um, I'm putting this as a contender actually, because I really, I love how they went back. I love how it started with, he had like the, the, the detonator in him and Philip Seymour Hoffman has him hostage. And they, they lay out the situation. They see his, they show his wife. He's got the gun to his wife's head. That's one of my favorite opening scenes and one of my favorite like scenarios for a movie. The whole thing was literally like leading up to that point again. So fire. The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. We loved this movie. Underrated movie. Hands down. We love Sean Connery. This movie. The, Sean Connery. This is an old movie too. This gave us like everything that we needed. Like there was a vampire, there was like a freakish, like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde kind of monster character. There was an immortal a warrior type of vibe. There was an yeah. invisible man. It was just very mystery, very fantasy, very sci-fi. Yeah. I'm keeping this up. Should a keep that. That's a contender. In here. The Incredibles. Top five, period. That is a top fiver all the time. <laughs> Every time, all the time. The Incredibles. And The Incredibles 2 would be top five as well. The Incredibles is everything. <laughs> Dash, Violet, Frozone. Frozone. <laughs> You tell me what my suit is, woman! We are talking about the greater good! Greater good! I am your wife! I'm the greatest good! You'll <laughs> ever got Ice of you to stop by. Ha! <laughs> Never, Never heard, heard that, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson. Edna. <laughs> you must confront him! Fight! Win! <laughs> you are elastic girl! My god! Pull yourself together! <laughs> Love yes. the incredible. Hitch with Will Smith. Classic. I feel like everybody loves this movie. Albert Brenneman. Sit down! No, you know what? I quit! Listen, Kevin James, that was the move. That was the one for him, I feel like. Mm -hmm. I know for me, that was how I discovered him. Out of what we have here, I wouldn't say top five. But I love this movie. Beowulf. I am Ripper. Terra. Slasher. Gouger. Slasher. I am the teeth oh. in the darkness, the talons in the night. Your girl Angelina Jolie was in this. She was the oh, yeah. monster, remember? The mother, well, the mo the, mo the monster's mother. I just didn't understand how this movie was like kind of animated, but kind of not. It looked like a video game, but I appreciated the graphics of it all. This movie was everything. I, I am Bella! This movie is sick. That's a top five. So I have Slumdog Millionaire, The Incredibles, Beowulf. I'm gonna add Inception, and I'm gonna add Mission Impossible 3. I have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I have Toy Story 3. I have Catch Me If You Can, Finding Nemo, and Home Alone. That's, that's a, strong a whole five. weekend. That's ready a strong to five. Go. Yeah, that's a strong five. Let us know which five you like better. Yeah. And let us know if any of these movies are are your favorites, or which one of these ten movies are your favorite. And also, the bodyguard. The bodyguard goes on everybody's list, whether you've seen it or not, whether you like it or not. I really don't care. It's Whitney Elizabeth Houston. So, yeah. A lot of movies. Mad movies. There's so many more over there. Let us know if we should do another one of these kinds sure. of videos. We're gonna start doing more like movie and TV fun stuff, just like shows that we're watching, movies that we love. We have so many more DVDs left over there. Let us know if we should do like a part two of this kind of style video and we'll have more stuff that we'll do and talk about. I don't even know where we're putting this up on yet, to be honest. Um, but whatever this is on, subscribe to it, like it, share it, and do whatever you gotta do. Um, yeah.